Hi, my name is Joran Kaiser, and I'm gonna present a tool today that I've found to be very helpful when I do my prison ministry. So when I'm sitting around in the juvenile detention center with the inmates, I'll pull out a deck of cards out of my pocket, and I'll say, don't you guys love playing cards? And they'll say, yeah, we do love playing cards. And, and I'll say, yeah, I love playing cards too. And every time I play cards, this deck of cards reminds me of something. It reminds me of the meaning of life. And they'll kind of look at me funny and I'll say, how many suits are there in the deck? And they'll say, somebody will say, clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds. And I'll say, that's correct. There are also four seasons in the year, spring, summer, winter, and fall. And they'll kind of look at me and say, okay, where's he going with this? And then I'll say, how many cards are in each suit? And they'll say 13. And I'll say, just like there's 13 weeks in each quarter of the year. And then I'll say, how many cards are there in the deck of cards? And they'll say 52. And I'll say, just like there's 52 weeks in the year. And what that reminds me of, time matters. And what we do with our time on this planet Earth matters to God. And then I move into the deck of cards. And I say, every time I see an ace, it reminds me of there's one God, all powerful and mighty. And every time I see a two, it reminds me that there's two parts of God's word, the Old and New Testament. And every time I see the three, it reminds me of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And every time I see a four, it reminds me of the good news that God brought to the world. And he tells us the story in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And every time I see a five, it reminds me of the hand of God is with those who love him. And when I see a six, it reminds me of God's creation, that he created everything we know and see in six days, and that we are the crown of his creation. And then he actually created planet Earth just for us. And when he had finished creating everything, he said it was good. And on the seventh day, he rested. And then when I see the eight, it reminds me that the attitude I have while I'm spending my time here on earth does matter. And the Son of God, Jesus, teaches us to have the right attitude in the eight Beatitudes in Matthew. And the number nine reminds me of the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And the number 10 reminds me that God loves order. He doesn't like chaos. And he gives us order through the Ten Commandments. And the jack reminds me of my sin, that I have a tendency to do things that are not God's way, that I like to go my own way. The queen reminds me of the Virgin Mary, the greatest miracle that God brought to mankind. He came down to us in flesh through a virgin. And the greatest card of all, King, the King Jesus, who brings us hope, who brings us freedom from our sin. Now that's the final card of the 13 cards in each suit. There's another card that doesn't fit into the 13 cards, yet it's part of the deck. It's the Joker which represents Satan. And Satan wants to ruin all the good things that God has created. And most importantly, he wants to ruin the crown of God's creation, which is us. But the good news is, King Jesus has the victory over Satan and his evil ways. And when we surrender to him, we find our freedom by what King Jesus does for us. So what this deck of cards reminds me of is the biblical worldview. The creation, the fall of man, redemption and restoration. It is my hope and prayer that you can use this deck of cards, this tool if you will, to open a conversation while you're doing your prison ministry and that the inmates will find ultimate freedom in God's Son, Jesus Christ.